Hi there, my name is Ellis Ware. I designed and built Pulsar for Series 1 of Robot Wars. And uh, this is the video for the application um, for Series 2. And uh, I'm here to show you the current card model for uh, the new build of Pulsar ahead of the series. So uh, you're looking at it right now and uh, this is about seven straight days of, of hard work. I've been uh, in CAD since Monday and it's now Monday again. So um, uh, this is not actually a complete model but what you're seeing is um, uh, probably about 90% on the outside. So there are a couple more details to go yet but uh, it should give you a very clear idea of the new look and the new functions and the styling and the rest of it. So right off the bat you'll probably notice that from a style point of view in terms of the color, the color scheme, um, the uh, styling and just kind of shaping of the machine and also the proportions are very similar to the original Pulsar which is entirely deliberate. Um, but there are some noticeable changes right off the bat. For example uh, on the top here there's this new a uh, whole kind of shroud, sort of hood over the back of the drum and uh, I'll come to that in a second but that's that's the single biggest um, kind of uh, addition to the design. Um, we also have the uh, drum and this is a completely new drum design. Um, same principle, same idea but um, in my opinion uh, much better execution so the uh, teeth are much thicker, the amount of material underneath the tooth is much bigger so they won't chip away and uh, most importantly it's physically larger, you can see the size of it relative to the wheels, it's now really quite huge on the front of the machine there and uh, it also now weighs uh, the gut to 23 kilos so um, the previous drum only weighed about 14 so that's a substantial upgrade. Um, and what that means is that uh, even if it's spinning at a slower speed, and of course Pulsar's game before was that it's spinning at the insane speeds of about 8.5 or 9,000 RPM, even when this one's spinning slower, around 5.5, um, it stores more energy than the old drum because it simply weighs 8 plus kilos more. So the, the, in effect that means that the bangs will be bigger and um, not so rare, they should happen more regularly. Um, so on the top here, as I showed you just now, uh, I've got this kind of shroud thing. And what this is, is actually, it's a self-writer mechanism. So uh, that will come round to about that point. You can see it engages down in that slot. So that's the self-writing mechanism when it's up. And uh, this way it doesn't make much sense. But if you, if I close that up again, more or less as it should be, and the machine is upside down, then it would rest, as you can see, on the edge of the drum and the wheels. Let me bring that a bit closer for you. You can see that if the self-writing arm goes over, then the entire machine, as that goes round, is going to be flipped back onto its wheels. And uh, this isn't a slow acting thing, this is going to go over, um, with no load it should take only a second, so with the weight of the machine it probably at most would take about two seconds to flip the machine straight over. And that's going to look like a front flip in the, uh, in, the, in the fight, so that should look really cool. And of course it's entirely functional, it means that uh, a flip attack is negated. So um, uh, in terms of styling and, uh, and kind of um, uh, you know, what changes there are there, it's an entirely new chassis. So none of this machine on the outside is the same as the previous. Um, some of the internals are the same. I'm using lots of the same motors and uh, one or two of the kind of the original transmission parts. There's nothing wrong with them. But otherwise, it's entirely new inside. So if I just make the top panels invisible for you, you can see that not all of not all of the insides, but a lot of the insides are already fully modelled. Um, as I say, this is only about seven days in, so uh, there's uh, probably about another seven, seven days of bashing my head against it to get it um, really dialed in. But you can see you've got the addition here of this uh, motor here, which is a big big one. It's only one, a little bit smaller than the drive motors, and then a gearbox, and then a custom transmission to drive the self writer, and that fits in there. Um, got the batteries as before. These are high power lithium packs. The same drive motors as before, these are um, the 50cc equivalent Rotomax um, uh, aircraft motors and down in there you can see the same motors for the weapon as before. So the internals are much the same, although uh, what's quite interesting is with a few design ideas such as putting the speed controllers for the weapon underneath the drum and one or two other kind of uh, funky ideas, there's enough room inside, you can see all of this open space, this is where the links and all of the main wire loom will be happening. So despite this machine actually being uh, the same size, aka tiny, um, uh, I've actually managed to get substantially more room inside. So it's just in general an evolution of the previous machine. If I just close that back down and just scroll through here and one second just make those visible again so that's looking complete. I can just give you a comparison, let me just refresh that, there we go, a comparison between the original machine and this one. 
which I realize this one might look very similar um, uh, as the previous, but this is actually uh, entirely new and having it side by side kind of really shows that off. So you can see right off the bat, the scale of the drum on the new machine is much, much greater than the old one. You can see that the, the girth of the, of the teeth there versus how um, uh, relatively weedy the previous machines one was. And also the general complexity of the chassis design. You can see there's a lot more detail um, if I highlight it like that, you can see, and this is all, as I say, very early, this is going to get even more detail um, versus the otherwise very blocky shape on the back of the previous machine. So overall, this is a fully evolved, much more scary, just as tough, and uh, uh, in my opinion, um, well, I mean, I, I, wouldn't, I wouldn't want to fight it. So uh, that's the, uh, just run around the CAD models for Pulsar 2, although I'm just going to be calling it Pulsar, and I uh, hope you like it and hope to hear from you. Thank you very much.